My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got an amazing 1963 Dodge Cornette 330, and yes, that's a Hemi sitting under the hood. It's a California rust-free original uh, metal car, original black plate. I have the registration cards showing it goes to this car. Uh, we have restoration pictures. We have a magazine article that the car was featured in. So it's just got all sorts of good stuff going for it. And the condition is amazing. Uh, this is one of the cars I bought from a very, very fussy uh, customer of ours. Anytime he has anything for sale, I grab it as quick as I can. His cars are dialed in. They're ready to go cruising, ready to go to a car show. So a really, really nice piece here. You can go to volocars.com and read all the specs and look at pictures top to bottom. Uh, and that's also where you will find price tags on every one of the cars along with a monthly finance payment as well. That's at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed these videos. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, underneath is immaculate original metal. The frame rails, the floor pans. I don't see any sign of rust or patched or uh, repaired floors. As a matter of fact, all the spot welds along the rockers, even along the bottom, way under there, the lower rear quarter, all the factory spot weld dimples are still there. So this is a rust-free undercarriage. It has a very thin coat of black undercoat. It's nice and fresh looking. Uh, and the components are all rebuilt. The front end is looks brand new. Uh, all, the, all the components, all the, the black metal is spotless. The bushings, the ball joints, the springs, the steering components uh, all look brand new. Uh, in back, uh, the bushings and the leaf springs, the shocks, that's been replaced. Uh, it's got a really nice custom dual exhaust, which you'll hear at the end of the video, and it has electric dumps too, if you really wanna wake up the neighborhood. Uh, it's got a crossover pipe. Uh, it's got thrush mufflers, and all welded joints. Uh, it's a nice fat exhaust too. Uh, the gas tank uh, looks like a real clean tank. It has an electric fuel pump. Brakes have been restored. It's actually upgraded to disc in the front. The e-brake cables look like they're all hooked up. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's spotless. Looking up at the engine, there's not a drip, it's not scraped, it's uh, immaculate uh, bottom of the motor. It's a rebuilt 727 Torque Flight Automatic Trans, which this has the push button uh, shifter, which we'll show you once we get inside the car. Uh, drive shaft's been rebuilt, has an eight and three quarter rear end. Um, I'm told it has a 373 to a 390 uh, gear in the rear end. So, underside is amazing. The body is even more amazing. It did not look this good when it left the factory, I can tell you that. Uh, it's an all original metal, rust free car. There's the before pictures in there uh, showing the, the car, the, just a clean, straight car, California car. That's why it's so clean. But all along the bottom, I mean, it's smooth, it's slick, there's not a bubble. Every inch of this car, anywhere you look, uh, across the roof, you can look look down the corridor. It's absolutely straight. I did not see any cracks, uh, bubbles, uh, signs of body work. I didn't find anything like that. The body is just pristine, absolutely straight, fits real nice. It's the brightest red you can get. It's Porsche Guards Red, uh, and it is polished out like red glass. So body and paint is amazing. Uh, the stainless trim is straightened and polished around the front and back windows. The mirror, door handles look new. Hemi emblems look new. Up front, the bumper uh, is brilliant chrome. The whole grill looks like it's been re-chromed. Headlight bezels look new. It has the super stock scooped hood and it is actually opened in there so it is functional. The glass is all like crystal clear in the car. Uh, all the rubber gaskets, door jams, it's all been uh, replaced. 
Uh, torque thrust wheels, 15 inch torque thrust wheels with some meaty tires. Car's got a real nice stance. Uh, back bumpers re-chromed as well. So that's the outside. Now I can't wait to show you what's under the hood and we'll go through the inside of the car. We're going to take a look at an immaculate trunk compartment. Look at the paint under here. It is slick. The, door, uh, the jam is painted slick. Weather strip trunk mat look brand new. Battery is relocated to the trunk. It's all bolted down properly. And the metal is perfectly clean, original metal, and with a very neatly applied gray and white uh, spatter paint. So again, really nice, clean uh, trunk compartment. So the interior was completely gutted. Uh, they also painted the dash real nice and slick. Uh, the instrument cluster and gauges, all that looks to be in real nice shape. And I, I wanted to point out, see the push button shifter there. You push the gear that you want it to go in. Kind of unique. Actually, new cars are doing that again these days. Um, and you have a vintage sun tachometer. And then down below, you have a gauge cluster, so you can keep an eye on the temperature and oil pressure and that sort of thing. New carpet on the floor with some floor mats. Now, the seats have been rebuilt. They're all nice, firm cushion, so the upholstery all fits uh, real nice and tight. We got seat belts for the front seat. Um, back seat is upholstered just as nice. All the side panels have all been re redone. It all matches the seat. That's original type materials. The headliner, uh, white perforated headliner, working dome light, uh, visors, all that matches. Uh, original mirror, a little bit cloudy, uh, the glass. But overall, the interior is pretty pristine. There you have it. That's a real 426 Hemi. Uh, I forget the gentleman's name, but someone that's uh, really well known in the Mopar industry out in California built the motor. It's blueprinted, balanced. The heads are ported, new pistons, uh, special ground uh, camshaft. So the motor's all gone through. Uh, it has a Mopar aluminum intake with a giant dual feed Holly carb. Uh, Chrome air cleaner looks real nice. Does have a set of headers. And the engine bay is also immaculate metal, painted real nice gloss red. And then all the components, the alternator, the radiator, the fan, the pulleys, uh, all the components look to be real nice. They've also added an electric fan up front to help keep it cool. And they've upgraded the master cylinder to a dual reservoir, which is much safer. Uh, this is a show quality motor compartment and yeah that's a hemi so it'll get up and run Yeah, this is a show quality car throughout, top to bottom, in and out. Uh, and I did lay out on the seat here. I forgot to talk about it, but they will be on our website. 
Uh, it's a four-page story about the car in the magazine. Uh, the, the original owner's manual, because it has the VIN number imprinted right on it, uh, the California plate with the registrations to prove that that plate does go to this car. Uh, that's just a kind of a nifty thing. Uh, it's Super Rod is the name of the magazine that the car was featured in. So, there you have it. A super nice car. Any car I've ever sold. Uh, the, the gentleman I bought it from, any one of his cars I've ever sold, the new owner has been completely happy. So, if you've been looking for a car like this, you will, will not be disappointed. But that's my impression. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman. They can help you out. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you finance it if you go to volocars.com. If you're enjoying these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon so you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.